Yo, what up my cozy beans? It's me, Drax Sparrow, the Vampire King, otherwise known as Glitch Hero, but you may call me Prophet Stan, because today I got a future deck build that everyone will use. Check it. So, right here, we kind of got a foundation of ammo belt and ammo meal. These two together bring our ammo capacity to 125%. And that reload speed is nice. Now, I like to make sure for the rest of my deck, I have something that everyone's going to love now. Experimental stun gun. Ooh. And... Stealthy Passage. You get these two bad boys together, and they work together. You could even use... You could even use the... AI Assistant Module if you like. But it costs a lot of ammo. You'd be surprised. Even with these two cards, you'll, you'll find you might run out of ammo from time to time. But if you get... You could either remove one of these and get Ammo Scab if you want. Um, on your mark works well, but you need more than one person with it, I find. You can't be the only one with it if you're going to get rid of one of these. But it's fine to have it on top of one of these. And then after that, most of these are pretty subjective, but I find I work well with motorcycle helmet, uh, padded suit, and scar tissue for defense, and then I have bravado so that I don't just, like, you know still lose the health and trauma and just never heal it back and just become harder to heal if that makes sense um i run quick kill because obviously the motorcycle helmet you guys don't have to do motorcycle helmet but i never aim down sights anyways so quick kill i find is like a cheap way to get accuracy for me i could go two more cars to get perfect accuracy but just at least with this i can work with the deagle i can work with an ar or a shoddy and it's fine especially if you can get it, some good attachments for them and now with food if you start eating peanut butter you only a couple of those in quick kill and it's in a, a laser sight you're at perfect sight already i think food scavenger is a little bit underrated and underloved and i think people just don't know how to share it properly it's like if everyone has like a favorite food in real life and like you were eating it behind their backs it's like you gotta you gotta like share the right food one person eats all the peanut butter one person eats all the green beans one person eats all the cereal one person eats all the power bar then you start fe feeling some weird effects i like to see a world where there's more than one food scavenger and people are splitting it up properly really fun things can happen there and if someone who doesn't have accuracy that's the person who's going to want the peanut butter it's either that person or melee and if you got both, you can share it properly or get get the accuracy person to 100%, and then you just give the rest of the peanut butter to Melee. Everyone's happy. And Mag Coupler as well is uh, optional. So you don't need to... like. In, if I, in fact, I could switch this into accuracy if I wanted. I tried without this. It's kind of hard at first, but once you get used to it, you don't need it. These cards are optional for sure. Same with the motorcycle helmet, but I encourage someone to, to, to give it a shot if you guys like. It's really good. This deck is meant for Dan. And then the final cards that just fill it up are ammo stash, so I can just shoot my deagle all day long. It doesn't matter that Dan starts with a deagle. I'm just a deagle guy. He just, he just happens to start with it, which makes it even better. But I'm always looking for a deagle, and it's expensive. And now with the experimental stun gun, you don't want to be spending all your ammo um, on your secondary even with these cards, especially if it's a, it's a sniper shot. Um, and that way you can provide ammo for your team more and you can at least do a sun gun as well and still sometimes give some sniper ammo when your team needs it. Um, and then for the final cards are like mad dash so you can get where you need to go to kind of counter the ammo mule move speed. Natural spinner so you can run you know longer and then rhythmic breathing to counter the natural sprinter uh, max stamina i find it works really well um but you can try your own for that as well these are pretty like subjective you do whatever you want for your three like speed cards 
but overall this is deck is meant to be like a utility support your Dan this is like a, a Dan deck where you're supposed to support your team by giving them ammo whenever they need it a stun whenever a tall a tall boy or any like mutation gets too close you gotta watch out for the claw guys go so they're a bit bugged with the stun gun and you basically just stun stuff whenever things get too close to your team. You revive people uh, super tankily. Like, with Dan passive plus all this, you virtually become, like, like you almost become stronger when you're reviving people. You're, like, invincible. You can kind of, like, you know, grab a sip from your drink. Like, you, you, you really feel safe when you're reviving people with this build as Dan, or if you have Dan on the team. And, uh basically allows you to kind of uh, distribute ammo for people who need it. You can even go AR, because sometimes I'd run AR without having all this stuff in the past. But now if I have this, I can give my teammates AR and still run AR, like if they're going T5 or if they're uh, running ARs themselves. But if someone's running an LMG, I still I might not do AR anymore. But with this build, you can go shotgun or AR, because you have good, ac good accuracy with this plus quick kill to still go shotgun, like totally fine. Like, I go AR, and I enjoy AR with this accuracy, it's fine, uh, especially with some attachments. So, it's all it's really up to you, but you kind of get the choice between, like, any secondary you want. You can go Belgian, whatever your feel, whatever your vibe is. It doesn't have to be Deagle, um, because you have unlimited ammo. And then you can either go Shotgun or AR. Um, I mean, you could even go LMG if you want. You just won't be... But it, the only thing is, if you're LMG, I'd imagine it's the one time where this deck won't be able to share ammo but it's only of one type the AR ammo because you'll be using it all but I find I can share my sniper ammo even when I get rid of one of these cards sometimes if I just like share it properly and don't use it all and I'm very like careful with it because of my unlimited secondary you just got to be better paced with it but in the end like you should always be able to provide for any every, any type of your ammo your team needs um, within reason, obviously, if they just keep asking for it before you come across ammo station or whatever, it's like that you can only hold so much, right? But it's like from the beginning to the end of a level, like you always should have a, like a reasonable amount to always su supply for your team, whether you go shotgun or AR, unless you have an LMG on your team and or the LMG is you. <laughs> so this is basically the deck. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, yeah, this is this is basically all I run, and it's all I have been running. And this is a deck I've kind of had going and theorized for since begin since before the patch, and then it, well a after and into the patch. But uh, just wanted to mark it down in history as you know the future deck that everyone will run soon. So thank you everyone. Another one in the books. Drag out.